g'day, g'day, and welcome to Sumo's Projects, and welcome to this shop update. Uh, lots going on in my workshop. I've been pretty busy, and uh, I'll just take you on a little bit of a look around. I'm doing some shop improvements, uh, trying to capitalise on the space I do have, and without you know encroaching on other space I've got in the uh, whole of this shed. So, uh, made a few improvements, which I think are going to be uh, a really beneficial thing to my workflow always continuing to make the best of the workflow and also uh, eliminate you know any risk of tripping and injuring oneself so I'll show you around doing that um, also makers of interest I've nominated six makers of interest on YouTube and I'll be highlighting their channels today so uh, before we go on I'd just like to say a, a quick good day to the folks up at Long's uh, Electrical up in Natuka Mitch and the gang are uh, always tuning in every video I put out and being very supportive, as well as all the other beautiful people who leave comments. Please leave a comment and I'll always get back to you. All right, let's have a look around and see what's going on. I finished my workbench build. I've been working around uh, putting adequate storage underneath um, and drawers and things like this are a purpose built for the tools that I do use. Also included this little LED light, which I bought at Aldi. Uh, I think it was on special for about eight or nine dollars, and it's tremendous the difference it makes. Another feature here: a mate of mine who's an electrician, he came down and he uh, he installed three of these sort of whole, uh, fall down power cords. They're really handy and uh, really awesome to use. Also, uh, have a purpose cabinet here to put all the finishes in. This is handy. Uh, I worked hard on trying to get the best out of my wood storage. This was in another corner of the shop, in this particular corner, and took up way too much room. As you can see, I've now got a, a, a better, cleaner design set out, and there's a lot, of more, lot more room to work within here. So that's good stuff. So if you follow me on Instagram, oh, I've been posting a few photos here and there, uh, Sumo's projects on Instagram, and I've been doing a, just a, updates on you know a little bit of improvements I have made in in my particular work environment. So it's coming along nicely. Uh, a couple of build videos I recently did was the 2018 um, pallet wood upcycle challenge. Uh, that was a lot of fun. I made a, um, a somewhat of a bicycle maneuver mono stand for a mate of mine and that went down really well. Uh, also made a small stool. Uh, that was my last video and that was just a little purpose built project uh, for me to take inside and be able to sit on and um, light the fireplace. So nothing nothing too dramatic, but um, something I needed. So I made it and I filmed it and hope you enjoyed it. So um, before we get into the makers of interest for this time around, uh, I'd love it if you could just go ahead and do this. Okay, so it's now time for the makers of interest. I've nominated six people. Uh, some from Australia and others from other parts of the world and I hope you enjoy what they do go ahead and subscribe to them uh, I've been always been fortunate enough to people highlight my channel and as it grows I, I want to do the same and help help everyone out in the community that's what it's all about isn't it so enjoy this and um, till the next time stay well stay well yeah Friends and followers on the tube of Eunice. Welcome back if you've been here before, and welcome if you're new to my shop, and welcome to my dilemma. Introducing Lewis from One Man Band Woodworks. Lewis is a Sydney based uh, woodworker. A really nice mallet, and says it's just not big enough. So then he has to build something truly special <laughs> he has a wicked Australian sense of humor but apart from that he's got um, incredible skill set as a cabinet maker uh, a grade woodworker and in general all-round good fella uh, you wouldn't you won't be disappointed in watching any of his projects and um, I'm sure you'll get a good laugh uh, from some of his antics 
Get stuffed. Make it yourself. I don't make anyone. Are you serious? It's ridiculous. Please like and subscribe. So I'd have to say probably my favourite of the series is this uh, 10 part or multiple parts series of uh, how to make a workbench from scratch and using recycled materials. Beautiful stuff. Next we have uh, Vic from Down Under Woodworks. He's a Sydney based maker, such as, same as Lewis. Um, Vic's attention to detail is just outstanding. Um, I just, I'm always marvelled by the quality of his builds and uh, the amount of precision that he puts into the, the workmanship. Uh, Vic also makes a lot of his own homemade jigs, which are uh, quite extraordinary sometimes. And uh, they've been acknowledged by people such as Izzy Swan uh, for just, you know, great um, type of ideas and that. Um, you can see, like, he, he's recycled here and um, put his own finishing touches. This is one of the router lift jigs. And uh, this is just quite an amazing thing. And as he said, I think he based that on a, on a, a jack design. So incredible ch channel. Uh, Vic's very uh, helpful towards all the other Australian makers and he's a great bloke as well. Go support Vic's channel. Next up we have Cuffy's Woodwork from uh, Melbourne. Uh, Cuffy is uh, also an extraordinary woodworker. He... Um, his project quality is unbelievable. He uses uh, such a great selection of Australian hardwoods and um, he, he really engineers them uh, as precise as any tool makers could possibly, uh, you know, try to get the results on uh, any work with very fine tolerances. Um, he's a good bloke. I met Cuffey. Uh, he's, uh, he tends to make a lot of good projects. Uh, for his uh, family members and that's wonderful and um, when we watch this everyone's a little bit envious Cuffy all right it's a it's a beautiful machine no <laughs> uh, attention to detail here this is a cot he built for his sister and um, it, it'll outlast probably oh, most things that are made in this world um, so good on you Cuffy good stuff mate next up we have uh, Rob Appleman from the Netherlands uh, Rob was one of the first people I sort of met on YouTube uh, to be able to, uh, you know, have a bit of a chat to here and there. Um, now, Rob does a lot of projects. He, he's at the moment making sort of uh, five or six videos a week, and they're all super interesting. Uh, he made a lot of projects recently out of pallet wood, and um, uh, it's an outstanding channel he has. He, he puts a lot of uh, emphasis on to doing some elaborate type joinery, and... Um, it's 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 things that I watched other people do, which uh, sort of inspire me to give it a go as well. Here we have Dekeros. I believe he's from uh, Sweden. Dekeros is a an interesting channel. He's uh, pretty new. That channel here. Um, this type of this video here, he's making a, a dowel maker, um, and it's it's quite interesting actually. And something we can all aspire to make our own dowels out of any type of timbers if we put our minds to it. Um, he's taken a part in a few challenges, uh, one sheet plywood challenge and a few others, I believe. So you can see here, this dowel maker is um, is quite quite a handy little thing to be able to make and have uh, a good little project he had here. I think this was part of a recycle or upcycle challenge as well some speaker boxes and um, just goes to show once again that uh, the use of uh, just some simple tools you know to be able to get a project underway is uh, all you need sometimes so go check out the Keros subscribe and uh, send him some nice messages last up on the makers of interest we have uh, Big boy, big boy DIY from Northern England. Warren's a nice guy. He um, he's pretty new to YouTube as well. Um, he's put out several videos of builds, and he's uh, he's probably got a small shop, so it's it's always difficult to get the most out of a small shop. But Warren does an excellent job here, and um, as well as some nice builds, he's also done a couple of really interesting reviews on the products he's had. Uh, purchase along the journey so good stuff Warren and uh, go ahead and subscribe to Big Boy DIY